If I see that dirty mutt on my property again, I'm calling the catcher. A vein throbbed from his forehead as he yelled. And if I see you on my property, I'm grabbing my gun. Parker, relax, I replied. She's just a puppy. She got startled by the lightning. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. You damned well better. He growled as he entered his house. Otherwise, I'll be invading your property next time. Kiki, my four-month-old chihuahua, was still getting used to my yard. It was the third time she'd gotten into the neighbor's property. I still wasn't sure how she was getting through. What an asshole. The delivery driver Ryan said as he opened the gate. Has he always been that way? Nah, not always. Parker has gotten worse since his wife died. He's not a bad guy deep down. Just a lot going on with him right now. Well, Ryan chuckled as he moved towards the next house. You're a more forgiving man than me. I brought Kiki inside and turned on the evening news. Flash flooding, thunderstorms, and power outages expected in the area. Emergency services may be delayed for some time. If you have an emer- the weatherman was cut off by a sudden crack of lightning, tripping off the power. Well, Kiki, it looks like we're in for a rough night. She yipped in agreement. I made my way to the basement to grab some candles. There was still just enough light out that I'd be able to see. I didn't have much time to prepare. Kiki was whining from the top of the stairs, too small to follow me down. I felt a faint breeze coming from the far end of the basement. The window had been left slightly ajar, and my package was sitting on the other side of it, being bombarded with rain. Shoot! I gathered the candles and ran upstairs to grab the package before it was entirely destroyed. The weather was apocalyptic. Gray clouds moved towards my home like a stampede, trampling over one another. Bolts of lightning littering between them. A torrential downpour attacked me from all angles as I leaned out to grab the soggy cardboard box. I slammed the door shut, silencing the heavy rainfall into a gentle pitter-patter. Well, girl, it looks like you're sleeping with me again tonight. Your new bed just got soaked. Kiki murmured and lay down on the carpet next to the couch. I had nothing to do since the power was out, so I laid on the couch and played on my phone until the battery died. I fell asleep shortly after. A large crack of thunder pulled me awake. Kiki squealed as she ran out the doggy door. Kiki, no! I ran towards the door to chase after her, but stopped when I heard the stairs creaking. Hello? I called out. No response. Is someone down there? I opened the basement door and was hit by a massive wave of wind. Damn it. I'd forgotten to close the window. I ran through the puddled basement door and locked it tight. Err. A faint grumble snuck out from the far end of the basement. Who's there? I shouted as I tiptoed towards the noise. A dark, hunched-over figure was crouched behind a pile of boxes. What the hell is that? It crawled forward and pounced me before I had a chance to react. Gah, help! I screamed as it scratched and clawed at my face. I placed both my hands on its hips and pushed, sending it flying a few feet away. I scrambled up the stairs, but the figure grabbed my left foot at the last second, slamming my face into a step. I kicked and flailed free as several teeth flew out of my mouth from the impact. I escaped to the other side of the door. I tried to slam it shut, but an arm slipped through to block the way. Please, I screamed. What do you want? I held my back against the door as the intruder slammed against it repeatedly, inching it forward a bit more each time. I braced my feet against the wall in front of me. The door began to crack with each slam wood splitting in rhythm with the thunder. Bolt of lightning illuminated the room as the intruder burst the door, 
the knob busting the side of my head as he pushed through. Whatever you want, just take it, I yelled as I pushed myself backwards on the ground. The intruder fell on top of me, placed his hand around my neck, and squeezed. Stars began to dance in my vision. The calming pitter-patter soothing me as my vision began to fade. Crack. A loud bang rang out, louder than any sound of thunder. As my intruder fell to the ground, gripping his side, Kiki ran towards me, licking my face as Parker appeared behind her, gun smoking in his hand. Parker helped me tie Ryan up. The bullet had nicked his stomach, but he was still alive. Apparently, he noticed the window was open when he dropped off the package and figured my house would be an easy mark. Kiki had ran outside and went to the only other place she knew, Parker's. We left Ryan bleeding in the basement for a few hours before calling 911. Guess I'm not as forgiving as he thought. <laughs>